So here we have 9.6 translating the graph of a function to step. And then if you're doing minus one, that means you're gonna go to the right one. Why? Because you do the opposite. You add one to the x values, which makes it go right one unit. And then the plus two on the outside means you will keep it the same sign and add two to the y values, which means this graph is gonna go up two units. And so in the computer, you just grab the function and then move it to the right one and then up two units. And so what the graph should look like is it should look like to the right one and then up two units. So at three and four and then right one unit and up two units so it should be here zero zero right one and up two um, here so right one and up two and then here so right one and then up two and so then the V should have this shape again I'm not drawing it too great but you get the idea okay so the original V that's drawn on the graph should now be moved, okay? That vertex, which was at zero, zero, went to the right one and up two. Now here it tells us to translate X squared according to this. So this means we're going to do the opposite, which is minus three to the X values, which actually moves it to the right, no, I'm sorry, to the left three. Because if you minus three, the x values they go this way so then that's going to go left three units and then if you minus two on the outside of the square that's minus two the y values which when you minus two from the y values that's going to make it go down two units so you're going to take the regular parabola and you're going to do these um, motions here so one two I'm just gonna do it like this. So this is negative four, this is five. So the original will be at, um, let's see. Let me finish my little graph here. So the original would be at two, four, one and one, zero, zero, one and one, two and four. Oops, right there. So the original would be this green one. And then the new one, if I do these movements, would go down two and then to the left three. So one, two, three. Then this point would go down two and then one, oops, one, two, three. And then this spot would go down two and one, two, three. I think I went too far then. Oh no, I'm good. This one is up here. And then this point going down two, and then one, two, three. And then this point going down two, and then one, two, three. So it's over here somewhere. But you get the idea. You're getting this parabola here. It's got the same um, narrowest, the same coefficient, right? But it's being shifted to the left two and then down three. Now, even if it's a cubic function, it's the same idea. So on the inside, if it's minus one, it's gonna do the opposite, which is add one to the X values, which essentially moves it to the right uh, one unit and then the minus four outside the cube is going to minus four to the y values 
which makes it go down four units. And so the regular cubic, if I draw this correctly, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the regular one is going to have one, one, zero, zero, negative one, one, and then two and eight, but that's going to be way up there and way down here. So this is the regular cubic. Now, if I do these motions to it, I'm just going to use these three points. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it down one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to go to the right one unit. So then I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, and then to the right one this one go down one two three four and move it to the right one and so then the new parabola becomes this one in pink so it's got the same kind of curvature it's just going down four and then to the right one now the last one is what if it's a square root now this one you have to be very very careful notice that in these two they didn't have coefficients in the front and so there were no coefficients here in the front. Notice that for this one and this one, they do have coefficients in the front already, okay? So they do have these coefficients and notice that it's the same coefficient there. So you're not having to figure out how the coefficient is affecting it. The only change here is that now there's something happening inside the cube and something else happening outside the cube. So it's the same for this one. They're gonna already have graphed this, and they're gonna have um, zero, zero, one, negative one, two, three, four, and negative two. So they're gonna have already graphed this image over here, which is y equals to negative square root of x. And notice the negative square root of x hasn't changed. What's changed that they've added three here and then they've I mean added two out here and so that's what you're gonna do you're gonna take what they have for the square root the negative square root of X and you're just gonna shift this around according to what needs to happen so for the plus three on the inside that means you're gonna minus three to the X values which actually means it's gonna go to the left three and then the plus two on the outside means you're gonna add two to the y values, which is actually gonna move it up two units, okay? So you're gonna take these points here that are on the original graph given, or you can just grab the whole graph and make sure you go to the left three and then up two, okay? But for me, I have to do it as individual points, otherwise I won't be able to graph it. So the new one will be here in pink. So we're gonna go to the left, one, two, three, and then up two. So now I'm here. Here, one, two, three, and then up two. So I'm here. And then the origin point, I need to go one, two, three, and then up one, two. Actually, it should be here, because these are the Y values. Okay, so then now I know this is my origin one because that was my origin one and I moved it, I ended up with here. And then it's going in this direction. I can't draw it any better, I'm trying though. But it does have that same square root shape. And why is it downward? Because it's a negative square root of x that it's with, right? And that's the end of this topic.